there happy crafters this is claudia with another quick little process video on my daily life journal i will be using these large photos today where the subjects are either to the left or the right so that when you cut this page or this photo you're not gonna get you're not gonna cut something important in the photo or cut in the middle of somebody's face i was also able to add some uh, quotes on the side of those photos so if you want to do or use this technique just keep that in mind I love this little new ruler that I got it's by Americans craft it's so bendy and it's clear and it allows you to I don't know it's easier to measure things and to keep things straight because everything is see-through so I'm working on the sketch for that layout and I thought hey if I'm gonna do it why don't I add a little just a little clip on how you know how I did it it's no big deal but you know you can see that what I'm working on and I freeze it here in a little bit I freeze frame so that if you want to copy it feel free to it still looks crooked to me from here but it isn't I promise kind of anal about that so uh, you can see there I froze the tag I have it to the side and you'll see that I will change that later on because on the sketch the squares they're squares and the travel journal pages aren't square they're rectangular so it looks like there's a lot more space for that tag if I use if I put it sideways and there isn't and you'll see there that I change it because it works better if I add it horizontal um, what I, I don't know if I already said that, but I use Photoshop to create these large photos. And also I, you know, I edit the photo. I make it lighter or saturation, you know, increase. Does that make sense? You know, make it more colorful, I guess. And then I add the, also the little quote. And, and that photo just was perfect for that. That was a photo from our Yellowstone trip this past summer. And you see what I mean by cutting that photo in half? I'm measuring there the size of the page, which is a mistake. If you do this, don't see, it doesn't line up, right? So what, I, what you do is you cut the photo in half. Don't try to match the size of the page because if your photo is smaller, then it's not gonna match. So what I end up doing, it's I cut it in half and that <laughs> I said fingers crossed of course it works duh so I cut it in half and then adjust it to the size of the page and it will work perfect and do you see what I mean there's nothing nothing important got cut off or cut down the middle there I selected um, the colors of the um, kit this is a kit by studio calico it's their gypsy moon october kit and it worked perfect with the colors in the photo there is a lot of like sharp truth colors yellow a little bit of yellow greens and then the dark blue it's in the clothing of the boys there there's the two cubs and a grizzly in that photo in case you missed it um and i use a packaging paper did you see that that was i i bought something and the the packaging was so pretty that i decided to make a tag out of it which i end up not using anyways because you see that little green scallop at the bottom it was so cute <laughs> um, i got frustrated with those scissors but because the 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 video is sped up you can't see that you couldn't see it really well but um, so I end up making a different tag because that tag I, I you know if I'm gonna use that tag I need to be able to see it because that's the whole point it's such a pretty tag so I'm lining things up and there you will see oh see the green little scallop well I can't hide it I don't want to hide it so I use um, the, a piece of that paper and then I make a different tag. And that cute little punch is by We Are Memory Keepers and it's their punch hole reinforcer, I think it's called. You know what those are, right? Yeah, it's self-explanatory. So I try to put the tag sideways and you see what I meant by the pages are 
rectangular, not square, so the tag wasn't gonna work according to my, my sketch. So I'm gonna switch it and go vertical, which is fine because it still looked good. And then I'm almost done with this journal. Look, I have one more page and then I'm done. I'm gonna be doing a flip through video on this guy when I'm done, hopefully in a couple of days. And I think I'm ready to start gluing things down. <laughs> Frustration. I don't know what got me frustrated there. <laughs> but it's silly. You can't hear what I'm saying. Actually, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm listening to some U2 songs on the background. And, and that's what I'm doing. I have music blasting on the background there so it's a good thing that you're not hearing it so this is the second time trying to do the voiceover in the first one i actually run out of video i kept talking and i never got to the very end so i try to make this one work just right um i think in the other the first voiceover i did i was telling you hey if you're interested in learning how to use photoshop um i started using or learning Photoshop with Photoshop Elements, which is a much easier version than the true version of Photoshop. I hope that made sense. So there's a full version, which is super um, complicated. There's a lot of things you gotta learn and remember, but then there's Photoshop Elements, which is a much easier version for those of us who just wanna scrapbook and edit our pages and it's very simple and you can do enlargements like what I did here and you can add words to your photos. So if you're interested, look up Photoshop Elements. I don't know what version they're on now. I think I'd be under like uh, Photoshop Elements 16 or something like that. And I had gotten lucky that I found sometimes Costco will carry it and now you can just do a subscription uh, through Adobe and you'll get every new version whenever they release it. So I'm gluing everything down, making sure everything in there, my paper sticks out a little bit. So I'm gonna trim that out. And I gotta make sure I usually run out of time and I never tell you at the end, hey, there's close-up videos at the end. I'm sorry, close-up photos at the end. So I'm gonna tell you that right now in case I run out of time because I keep talking and then I get to the end of the video and I've run out of a video. So there's close-ups at the end. I will put all the links to all the products that I've used here, all the tools. <laughs> Frustration. So there, I'm putting the tag. I made a little pocket. I use double-sided tape and that creates, oh, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> Jump the gun. There, I'm making a little pocket. Very skinny double-sided tape and only on three sides and that creates the pocket. And it's good because you see, I ripped something there when I, I don't know, I did something and I tore a little piece of that um, that paper, the pattern paper, but no worries. This little pocket will hide it. And there goes the tag. And like I've said before, um, you know, journal, um, these traveler's notebooks are, they're small. They're eight, each page is four and a quarter by eight and a quarter or something like that. So, you know, if you hide your journaling, your, your saving space, I guess, to add embellishments instead of having to add your journal outside. So I found these cute little tags that were gonna work perfect for this layout. They're faux leather, and I can't remember who they are by. I'll have to go and search. I got them at Tuesday morning, so. I love that store. There's, they always have cute little things that you can buy. So I'm using glossy accents, but it's clogged <laughs> and I'm a little frustrated. So um, I go off camera and unplug it because that one didn't work. 
nope still not coming out <laughs> and then I get it fixed and then it because they're that faux leather I guess you know I just wanted to make sure that I adhered it uh, with something strong Boy, I have nothing to say there. That's the first one. <laughs> I mean, I mean, obviously you can see what I'm doing there. Um, you know, I try to tell you things that will help you in a different way, other than you know you looking at what I'm doing. Because it's yeah, museum washi tape. Okay, well yeah, I can see that, Claudia. That book is so full. Um, um, you know, I try not to add bulky stuff, but it just, it doesn't matter. I mean, and, and bulky is okay. I love chunky traveler's notebooks. And so I'm okay, but it's, I have, I'm having to use those little uh, clips to keep the book from trying to pop open. And once I'm done, you know, someone asked me, well, how, what do you do with them when you're done? You know, I have, um, covers well you know the t ends there's the inserts and then there's the t end right the traveler's notebook so which is the cover which is what houses the inserts so once i'm done with the books then i just put them in one of the covers and then they just stay there so it doesn't matter how chunky they are because these cases will hold the the traveler's notebooks so i'm stamping now and I'm using a stamp by a company that I'm sad to say is no longer in business. It is um, Gossamer's Blue. They had such cute stuff, but you know, unfortunately, um, they went out of business. But I still have some other stamps, obviously, and I love them. That other stamps, those other stamps you see there are by Kelly Perky. And she has these awesome stamps sets that are theme after uh, like a travel theme and she has so many different themes they're they're just great so I use that one and it says travel logged it's one of my favorite stamps I use it a lot when I'm working on my junk journals for uh, when whenever we go on vacation I use those because they just work so well for that theme but it's too large as you can see there it's too large and I decide not to use it and I end up using a different stamp by Kelly Perky but now I'm adding some I do we call this journaling I don't know because they're just phrases or little sentences these are by Tim Holtz I have a few of, of his books some are just words and these are little phrases and they work so well with with the with this you know layout it talked about adventure and um, just doing something awesome and they were perfect and it just added that little balance that I needed and I was looking for in in the layout and then I use a different stamp and that's the one by Kelly Perky and I had stamped it in green and I didn't like it and you'll see it there in a minute and then I re-stamp it in black and then it works perfect and there you see it in green didn't work so I'm going with the black and that works better and I'm coming to the end of the layout guys I hope that you found something new the a new technique something that you might want to try on your own layouts in your own traveler's notebook please let me know if I can answer any questions I will have the links as always to everything um, that I've used and I'm sorry if I use products that aren't available anymore, but you get the idea. You can, you know, still adjust to, to you know, to your theme. Maybe, you know, it's not going to be a travel uh, a, a trip or a vacation, right? But the th techniques are still the same. So make sure you make time to get your crafty wheels out because we all need to have a creative outlet. This is one of mine amongst others. <laughs> so thanks again for watching guys. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like it, you know what to do. Until next time, get your crafty on. Bye.